All right, welcome to maze tutorial number one for the Hour of Code. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the different steps you'll need to take to complete this tutorial. So first of all, in this screen, it tells us that Brodu, or the blue Kodu, is lost in the maze, and it's up to the white Kodu to rescue him. To find an entrance and exit the maze, you need to look for the castles. There are two of them. Once you find Brodu, who is the blue Kodu, you need to leave, lead him home to his little home here. Okay, so if we click the A button, uh, right here we can continue. Okay, so before we can rescue Brodu, we need to learn a few things. So today we'll be programming the white Kodu to move as a result of an input on the keyboard, and the blue Kodu, Brodu, to follow Kodu, who is the white Kodu, once he's been found in the maze. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see in the tutorial in the top section here, we have the steps that we're going to need to take. So in order to uh, program the white Kodu, step one of four, we need to hit the escape button to go into edit mode. Okay, then we need to select the object tool, which is this tool right here, which is like a Kodu head. And we need to right click the Kodu who's our character, the white Kodu. We're going to then select program. And you can see now that we have our tiles of code. So these are when do statements. So right now we have when gamepad left stick do move quickly. And if we had a touch screen, if touch tap, then move quickly. Uh, if you don't have a gamepad, obviously, or touch screen, you need to do something different. So the input is going to be our keyboard. So on the third row of code, we're going to uh, basically click and do a keyboard. And then we're going to do a modifier. So plus the arrow keys. Okay, so now we need to do a do move for Kodu. So do move. Okay, so it tells us we're done, and we program Kodu, uh, and this time we're going to run the game and see him work in action. Okay, so we're going to hit escape, as it says here, to go to the main menu, and then this little play button here to play the game. Okay, so now we can use our arrow keys, and as you can see, Kodu now is moving. Okay, so we know that he moves. So the next step is to program Brodu, who's the blue Kodu, to get out of the maze. So Brodu is obviously blue, and he's in the center. Okay, so once again, hit the escape button, and now it's zoomed directly to blue Kodu. So once again, we need the object tool. Right-click on him, and program. Okay, so if we look at the code right now, it says when C, and there's nothing else, then say all these things, express this, if we see a rock. We have a whole bunch of code, but we need a modifier for, for line one. So when we, what we need is when C Kodu, so plus Kodu plus one more thing which is white so the color white okay now we're gonna continue to um, change this statement right here to do one more thing which is line of sight so instead of just when see Kodu ever it's gonna be when see Kodu options and then LOS which is line of sight okay so we have when see Kodu white line of sight we need him to do something if we didn't fill this in it wouldn't be able to React. So we need when do uh, when see Kodu white line of sight do move plus toward. Okay. So one more thing that the program wants us to add. This is step five of six. Is to make him go a little bit faster. So we're going to do one more thing. So he's going to do a move toward plus quickly. All right. So now we've programmed him. We're going to run the maze again and see him in action. Okay, it also gives us a couple prompts here. If you want to, you can program the coder to move in different ways. For example, using the WASD keys. Uh, you could also make him jump. Uh, you could also program the coder to move quickly uh, by adding a modifier tile. All right, so we're going to hit escape and the play button once again. Okay, we're going to use the arrow keys to go find Brodu. So as you can see, once we start moving, it's going to switch to a third-person view. So this little pink character here is giving us some prompts, and we need to go find him. So we're going to navigate through this maze, and at this point we haven't seen the maze, so we don't really know where to go, so we'd have to go exploring. And as you go through, you do want to take note to what uh, objects are in the maze. So we see there's a rock, there's a tree, but we're not looking for those things. We're looking for our blue Kodu. 
And in later levels, obviously, we're going to modify this even further. So getting familiar with the maze is important here. Oh, there he is. OK, so we can see that Kodu has now found his Brodu. And we need to lead him out of the maze. So you'll see that he does follow us. So there's a little bit of artificial intelligence programmed into him. And as we go out of the maze, we found our double castles. He then switches to follow a path. So he's going to move on his own until he finds his house. Okay, so it says thanks for your help, Kodu, and see you next time. And we're going to see a winner screen. Once you see the winner screen, that means you've completed this tutorial.